takes your heart and your soul and while your heart is as high as your soul put your heart without your soul into your heart Back your heart. By telling you about the thing that I did, because all this stuff about esoteric languages and quines and all that kind of stuff. It gave me an idea. You see, we've always had this trope about this idea of the rock star developer, right? You look at the ads on LinkedIn, and you'll see everyone is out there recruiting for rock stars. Rock star do this, rock star to do that, rock star to do that. And last year, Paul Stovell put this on Twitter. He said, to really confuse recruiters, someone should make a programming language called rock star. <laughs> and I had this experience. I had this moment of blinding revelation. Because, you see, when I wasn't messing around with Logo on Amstrads, I was listening to music like this, and I thought, this is what the world needs. The world needs a Turing complete programming language for writing computer programs that are also 1980s hard rock power ballads. <clears throat> so, the hello world in Rockstar is very easy. It's say hello world. But it's also scream, or whisper, or shout because creative expression is what Rockstar is all about. Variables and assignment. Now, we have int x, and we have var maestring, and we have the message, and this does not look terribly rock and roll. Now, first of all, we don't need semicolons. We don't need types. It's a dynamically typed language. If this is good enough for Ruby, it's good enough for Rockstar. Um, now, we don't want these equal signs. We're going to plug in is instead. Now, how many of you ever had an argument longer than three hours about whether to use Pascal case or camel case or chainsaw case or snake case or any of these other cases? Because I saw Douglas Crockford give a talk last year when he said, we have all these stupid arguments when what we really want are variable names with spaces in them. Now, I invented Rockstar in a bar, and when you invent programming languages in a bar, you can do anything you want. <laughs> so we can have variables with spaces in them. There are simple variables. We have common variables, my heart, your dream, the night, Dr. Feelgood, Black Betty, Billie Jean, anything starting with capitals, you can chain those together, that's a valid variable name. Now, programming involves a lot of numbers, and rock and roll kind of doesn't. Fizz is three, buzz is five, the limit is 100. I wanted a more creative way of initializing variables, so I came up with this. What if we take the lengths of the words, modulo 10, and treat those as digits in a number? So we've got three, five, one, zero, zero, the limit is a love struck lady killer. That's much more creative than limit equals 100, isn't it? We can do it with floating point numbers as well. You want to initialize pi and c, 3.1415, blah, 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 blah. And JavaScript, var pi equals, well, it's JavaScript, so you're going to get almost pi, like approximately. In Rockstar, my heart was ice, a life unfulfilled, waking everybody up, taking booze and pills. 3.1415. We needed arithmetic. Now, in English, we talk about, oh, how much is it? It's the price with the tax. It's the total without the tax. The quantity of the product, the distance over the time. Use the same thing in Rockstar, but we can be more creative. We can say, a girl with a dream, a man without a face, the wings of the night, a whisper over the water. We need comparison. Your love is a lie. The whiskey ain't the answer. My heart is stronger than steel. My soul is weaker than water. My will is as strong as a lion, and your lies are as low as a snake. You can't program without functions, right? So, modulus takes a number and a divisor. And while a number is as high as a divisor, put a number without a divisor into a number and give back a number. This blank line, by the way, that terminates the loop because that's how music works. We don't need semicolons and end statements. If it's a blank line, it means something just finished. Alternatively, midnight takes your heart and your soul. And while your heart is as high as your soul, put your heart without your soul into your heart and give back your heart. <clears throat> 
So I did this, and I came up with this parody language specification. I stuck it on GitHub, and I tweeted about it. Uh, and the internet went kind of crazy. And it made the front page of Hacker News. It got a write-up in Boing Boing magazine. People on Reddit were saying nice things. I don't know if you hang out on Reddit, but getting Reddit to say nice things is no small achievement. It doesn't happen very often. Shut up and take my money. Then this happened. Classic Rock is a real rock magazine that has nothing to do with programming jokes. And they emailed me and said, what's this rock star thing we keep hearing about? And they did a feature on it, alongside interviews with the Rolling Stones and Metallica and people like that. I was just like, then people started filing issues. <laughs> and I was like, why are you filing an issue? And they said, because your specification has undefined behavior. And I said, why do you care? And they said, because my compiler has undefined behavior. And I said, what? <laughs> and they said, I've implemented a Rockstar compiler in Scala yesterday. I was like, you can do that? <laughs> and it just kept going round and round and round. There's about five different implementations suddenly sprung up. There's a, a Scala one and a Rust one and a Python transpiler and all kinds of things. Um, and you know, I, I kind of I like the sound of Dylan Beatty, the creator of Rockstar. But I didn't think that just writing a parody spec in a bar was enough work to justify it. So I decided it, I actually had to build an interpreter for it if I was going to do this. And I did it over Christmas in JavaScript, because I'm an idiot. And for another reason, <clears throat> because I wanted everybody to be able to run Rockstar without installing it. I wanted Rockstar to be a language you can write in a browser on your phone so that everybody can become a certified Rockstar developer. <laughs> and so I did. Codewithrockstar.com slash online. There is an interpreter there. Anybody here can type in some code, run it, and come up and get your official certified Rockstar developer certificates, which are self-adhesive and wipe clean. <clears throat> By the way, the logo here that's on the website, I just want to little tip of the hat to the, the people I stole that from, because they weren't using it anymore. I wanted something that was really like all out, over the top 80s neon rock and roll. And I looked at lots of band logos. I didn't come up with anything. Then somebody said, have you considered Microsoft Consumer Products 1980 to 1982? And I went, yes. I'm going to recycle that. So thank you, Microsoft. Um, so that is the story of Rockstar. Now, I'd like your help with something because I have one little surprise left in store for you today, this morning. And that is the example of the chocolate cake that was also a valid program in Chef. I want to see if we can have a rock star program that's also a valid song. And so what I'm going to do is to perform it for you, FizzBuzz, live at Build Stuff. And you can draw your own conclusions as to whether you think this is two kinds of art, or one kind of art, or no kind of art at all. Is that all right with you? I've just worked out what the problem is. La 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 la. There will be a tiny, tiny interlude while we do that.